Well, after sports gambling was made legal in the state at the start of the year, the Ohio Casino Control Commission is meeting today for the first time. Sports betting has only been legal for 18 days, and state leaders have already expressed concerns with how sports books are attracting betters. Matthew Hirsch live for us this morning in the studio with how this rollout has seen a record number of bets placed already. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Matt. Not just record numbers of bets placed by gamblers, but also potentially record setting fines by the Casino Commission. Today, they officially approved a fine of $150,000 for Caesar Sportsbook for their marketing tactics during the rollout. Now, back on January 5th, the commission sent notice to American Wagering Inc doing business as Caesars that they faced potential fines for touting free bets that weren't actually free. Users had to deposit their own money first. Now, the commission also says their ads didn't contain required messaging about gambling addiction. Well, today, the president of Caesars addressed the commission along with their lead counsel and told the commission that the violation was a result of a third party affiliate using unapproved marketing content. According to Caesars, third party affiliates are only allowed to use previously approved marketing content, and they say that did not happen in this case. Caesars says they have terminated their relationship with that affiliate, not just in Ohio, but nationwide. They also say they've notified all other third party vendors about the action they took and warned them about deviating from approved materials. Now, in addition to the $150,000 fine, Caesars will be required to engage in additional staff level training. But Caesars, they aren't alone. Bet MGM, Crown Gaming Ohio, better known as DraftKings, and Pen Gaming, otherwise known as Barstool, they all face potential fines as well, which combined could total $1 million.